Hello, hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and we are back for another fun color jewelry bag night. We will call this one Saturday Night Fun Jewelry Bag Night, and I think we're on episode 14, if I'm not mistaken. And if I am, then just check the title, because we'll want to make sure that if you send me an email for something, that you have the right episode. So before we get started, I'd like to show you how to purchase if you see something that you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me have the episode number, a brief description of the jewelry in the bag, the bag number, and the price that's given. Okay, so thank you very much for that. I would also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, please think about it. If you like it, we'd love to have you with us. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone who's been here from the beginning, which really wasn't that long ago. So thank you all so much. I love your comments. I love each and every one of you. You've really been a blessing to me. So click the bell, subscribe. Thanks. All right, well, let's move right on to bag number one. And for those that are new, I kind of scoot the jewelry to the left so that I can bring each piece on one at a time and kind of build on what I have put together. So what I do is I take jewelry that I have, and I've also built up a stock of jewelry, and I just put some pieces together that I think look nice together. I'm not an expert, I'm not a fashion expert, but it's been fun to make these matching bags, so I hope you enjoy this episode. Our first necklace is an Avon piece, and it's green acrylic beads with beautiful rhinestones all the way around here. And then they have little dangle beads at the bottom, and then up here they stop with the dangles, the longer ones, and they continue up here. And here is your Avon tag. It says NRT, I believe, and that is one of Avon's tags. So we have this lovely piece, and I think that's a great color for the holidays coming up. And then it's so hard to match greens, I always say it, but I have these cluster earrings, they're so adorable. They are vintage and they're pierced. And they are the same color green. So I do love those with that necklace. Next, I have another pair of earrings that are green the same color green, just in case you don't want to go with too many clusters. And these are acrylic faceted beads, very pretty, great shape, and they are pierced as well. So you have a choice of two pairs of earrings. And then I thought I would bring in this adorable brooch. It is also by Avon, and it has some beautiful rhinestones right here. It's gold tone, clasp works great. Let me just check it again to make sure. Yes, it does. So I don't think enhancing this necklace is needed because it has so much going on, but you could if you wanted to. And if not, then you have a lovely brooch to wear along with your set of jewelry. So that's that bag. I hope you love it. It's bag number one. I'm calling it Avon Green. And the necklace measures about 18 inches, and that's fully extended. So Avon necklace, 18 inches, fully extended. Carefully put it back in the bag. And then we have our earrings that are vintage, like a grape cluster in the green, pierced. Another pair pierced. And beautiful Avon also, gold tone brooch with rhinestones. So I hope you love bag number one, Avon green. And let's see, I did price out some of these before the video. So I'm going to say on this bag, we'll do 29. Okay, I hope that's great for those of you that love the sets and even for those of you that are resellers. 
bag number one. Bag number two is really fun. It's very different, and I hope you love it. It has a clasp on it I've not seen before with AB crystals, and it's a toggle clasp, but it's these beautiful glass beads that are faceted, and then it comes up into these sort of crackle glass, black and white, back to black faceted beads, that jet French jet black faceted, and then it comes into these beautiful striped, almost zebra stripe type beads. It's really pretty. These beads right here are acrylic, but the rest of them are glass. So let me show you what it looks like on Buster. And I'll just kind of flip this part around so you know what the top part looks like. It's really a pretty piece. I actually cheated a little, not knowingly, but I bought a lot of black and white jewelry, so you'll be seeing quite a few black and white sets. Come on, Buster, you gotta behave. I told you that. So here's our necklace, and here's the earrings that go with it. Aren't those fun? Now, I don't know much about this. I'm, like I said, I'm not a fashionista, but I don't know. I'm thinking masquerade party, New Year's Eve. Maybe that's what they're about. They're really nice. I put clean backs on them. And they look really good with this necklace. Okay, I'm going to have to go to the back of Buster and flip these things up so that it will hold the necklace on so you can get a good look. Let me see. Is that helping? Yay, it is. Okay. But it's longer than this, but just for the sake of the picture. So here's the masquerade type earrings. Got those. Colors all go really well. <clears throat> and then this bracelet just went really great. It's a fabric, sort of a leopard, and then it's got the silver tone around. I just thought it picked up all the colors very well. There's a little bit of yellowing right here from where they glued the fabric, but it's just from a little bit of age. It's not anything to be concerned about. Okay, so that's bag number two called Masquerade. The necklace is 28 inches, and the bracelet is seven and three quarter inches. So you've got these really fun, super cool earrings pierced. Lovely bracelet, and now I gotta get it off of there. And the necklace that you can wear nice and long with the black faceted beads, and again, it's 28 inches. So that's bag number two called Masquerade, and I will say $24 on this one, okay? Okay, where am I? Bag two, bag three is so, oh, they're all so pretty, but this necklace I've had for quite a while, and I think you're gonna all ooh and ah over it because it's so beautiful. Look at this piece. This is a gold tone, vintage, like, um, like a tank track pattern. It's really lovely. It's got bead balls on the ends, and then this sort of, I don't want to call it a mesh pattern. Here's the clasp. It's a fold-over clasp. I don't see any marks. I was really surprised because it's really gorgeous, and it's really well made. It feels fantastic. It moves fantastically. The metal is great. It's brand new. I don't think anyone's ever worn it. So that's our gorgeous vintage piece. Unnamed, but it should have a name. And I've had these Sarah Coventry, super cool. They were brand new out of the package. They're clip-on earrings. It's very hard to match with this pattern of the necklace, but I like those square clip-on Sarah Coventry's. I thought they really picked up on the shape 
and there's the Sarah Coventry uh, signature right there. So those were right brand new out of the package. Super fun. And then I'm going to put in these gold tone hoops. They're nice quality. Some of them can be really too light, but these were nice. And then I thought this bracelet was awesome. It was the only one I had that could go with this. So it's quite nice and a good quality. Was this one signed? I can't remember. I don't think so. I would have put a little tag on it. It's a clamper bracelet and it's got these little nubbies to give it some extra um, texture. So I hope you love that. I think the necklace is fabulous and the other pieces as well. So bag number three is called Tank Track. And the necklace is 18 inches and the bracelet is six and three quarters. So I hope you like bag number three, gold classic necklace, excellent quality, called Tank Track. And I'm gonna put on this one, we've got Sarah Coventry, a nice bangle, I'm sorry, clamper. I'll say 34 on this. I really believe the necklace would go for that alone. So I hope it's a good deal for you. There's the back. It's just a fabulous piece, really beautiful. Look how it just folds up so lovely. It's got great weight to it. So this is bag number three, and there goes the gold hoops. All the gold tones, I match those together as well. There's your Sarah Coventry clip-ons, nice and lightweight. And I'll put that in there so you know they're Sarah Coventry. And the awesome bracelet as well. So that's bag three, tank track for $34. If you love it, just send me an email with the episode number, the bag number, a brief description, and the price. Next bag is bag number four. And you may have seen me take this necklace out of my latest series called 10 Pounds ShopGoodwill.com Jewelry Unboxing. And this brand new, genuine Lucite necklace came out of that box. And I have been eyeballing it. It's so gorgeous. I did look online and they do sell very well because they are older, but they're new stock. It has a beautiful gold tone um, spring ring clasp and the new tags are on it so that's that gorgeous piece with the faux pearls and probably faux onyx and the classic gold tone beads in between so there's that one i'm going to hook it back a little bit so we can see see it up on the neck so we've got that and i have this wonderful bracelet oh it goes really well it's got the pearls on it. It's a clamper. It's also brand new. I forgot what the tag said that I took off of it, but it's really never been worn. So I thought that was awesome with that. And, oh my gosh, how about these Napier clip-on earrings? It doesn't get any better than that with the black and white and pearl set of vintage jewelry. So I hope you're loving that. There was nothing else I could find. I tried to put a pair of just gold earrings with it. Nothing did it justice like this. So I'm leaving it just like this. Can't improve on something that's great. So the necklace is 24 inches. Is that right? 24 or 27. Let me measure again. I pre-measured tonight so I could go quicker and get more bags in. It is 24 inches, fabulous condition, and the Napier earrings are just lovely. They're glass pearls, black enamel, gold tone, and the bracelet, excellent, excellent condition. Really pretty. So I hope you love what I call bag number four, Lucite and Napier. And I am going to price this up a little because... The necklace, all, all pieces would resell really well. So I have to consider what I have into it and what they're worth. So I'm going to say 49 on this one, okay? So if you love it, let me know. Okay, bag 
find it number five. Oh, this is so stunning. Okay, get your sunglasses out because this is a really beautiful sparkly set of jewelry. So first up, we have the stunning Banana Republic necklace. I'll show you the hang tag right here. It is a beauty. It has gold tone and silver tone. So you have these what look like rhinestones, but they're actually silver tone faceted covering on top of gold tone. But these are rhinestones right here. These one, two, three, four, five big rhinestones on the top. So it's very sparkly, silver tone, gold tone, and a really chunky um, chain necklace on a large lobster clasp. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love those big rhinestones. So what do we put with this? Well, first I'm putting this multi-metal gold and silver tone pair of Monet earrings. They are those comfort clip. They don't spring closed. They just push closed, so they're comfortable to wear. I love those. They're very classic and beautiful, and I think they look great with that. Of course, we have to amp up the rhinestones, right? These have the same teardrop shape. They're by O and P. I wasn't able to find what O and P is, but they are designer signed, and they're pierced. So there's your O and P right there. Big, hunky rhinestone earrings. Uh, Two-tone metal clip-ons. So you've got your pierced and your clip-ons. And then a set of really pretty gold and silver tone bangles. A little bit of silver and a little bit of gold. And I like the texture of those. I think it looks super nice with that set. So this is bag number five called Banana Republic Two-Tone. The necklace is 18 inches. The bracelets are usually about eight, but let's double check. Yes, so the bangles are eight inches. You've got four of those. You've got your O&P gorgeous rhinestone earrings pierced. Your Monet multi-metal clip-ons comfort clip. And your really awesome Banana Republic stunning piece. Here's the back. And it is um, constructed openly so you can see the rhinestones. It's really funny because the back of the rhinestones are clear, but they put the foil back on the front. It's a really pretty look. And I guess because it's open in the back, it still lets a lot of light through and just makes that shine. So there you go, bag number five, Banana Republic, two-tone, 18-inch chain, two pairs of earrings, and I'll say 32 on this. Hope you love it. Bag number six is really awesome, too. I love these vintage pieces. This one is so different. Look at this. So we have white pearls and black pearls that are glass, and it's in the form of this chain. I think that is so fun. Can you imagine having that on with the right outfit? It's just stunning looking. I think it's long enough that you could double it, but that's up to you. And I do want to let you know that once in a while you'll see where they have um, glued the each chain together but unless you're really looking for it, it's not something that you notice unless I point it out. So there's no clasp. It's just a really long, beautiful pearl black and white chain necklace. Just so cute, I love it. And with it, I have this really cool half black, half white bangle bracelet. Has a little bit of a stretch on it. I think this is quite older, but in great shape. And it has just a little bit of an off-white color to go with those pearls. So I love that. That's really cool. Now the necklace measures 40 inches long and the bracelet is 8 inches. And how can you not bring in a pair of pearl button earrings with the gold tone rim and the black enamel? They are pierced and super nice condition. 
And I think if they were signed, I would have said so, but it doesn't matter. The color matches and the quality is fabulous. So I hope you loved that one. That's bag number six, and I called it Pearl Chain. Again, 40 inch chain, eight inch bracelet, and lovely glass pearl earrings. So you have glass pearls here and glass pearls there. So let's go with our bracelet. The pierced earrings that are button pearl glass. And this very cool. I thought of putting some kind of clip of an earring on it to enhance it, but nothing really improved it. It just looks so cute the way it is. So there you go. And for this one, I'm going to say 28. Okay. Bag six, pearl chain 28. Bag seven. Get ready for this one. I'm really pulling out my nice vintage pieces lately. And I hope you love them. This is a Napier show you the name right there absolutely gorgeous silver tone necklace with the big box clasp right here look at that it's got like a frosted well like a textured silver tone here and look at this chain isn't that gorgeous it's in wonderful condition no wear to it beautiful beautiful piece Napier, wow, how can you go wrong with a classic chain like that? The chain measures 18 inches. And this was a tough one because I didn't have a bunch of chain earrings and things to go with it. But when I held these earrings up to it, I thought, that's it. They are so cute. I think they look really great with that. I'm not sure how, but they pick up on the chain, in my opinion. The silver tone pierced, of course, on the wires. And here's the back of them. Super cute. Nice weight to them, good quality. And then I'm adding these earrings too because they kind of pick up on a chain effect. And if you wanted to add something different. Also, if your ears are pierced twice, it's kind of fun to have a couple pairs of earrings. So there's your earrings. And for a bracelet, I have this lovely silver plated with these gorgeous rhinestones. I just couldn't think of anything else to take away from the chain. So I have this lovely little piece that will just sort of add some shimmer to your wrist. And they'll be looking at this chain, I'm sure. Yep, so that's silver plated. So this is a wonderful Napier necklace. In go your earrings. Your twirly twirlies and these super cute silver tone with black enamel inside and your cute little sterling silver plated bracelet and the wonderful Napier piece and I wanted to say that you could wear it this way too as sort of a pendant the, the clasp is so beautiful it can be a pendant as well you can even wear it over here. There's just so much you can do with this piece. So I'm going to unclasp it again because I want to put it in the bag very carefully. And I have to kind of just curl it up a little bit like this. So look at that Napier, hunky chunky, beautiful baby. I'm calling this bag number seven, Napier Classic Silver, 18 inch chain, seven inch bracelet two pairs of earrings, and I'm going to say 45 on this one. So that's that one. Bag number seven. Bag number eight, I think, is one of just a few bags coming back from last week because it's worth it. With the holidays coming up, and even without them coming up, maybe you'll have a wedding or something. But this bag was number eight, called Rhinestone. And here's your lovely rhinestone necklace. They are all prong set. You have a larger stone at the bottom here and a little bit larger stone here and here with the cluster. The rhinestones go all the way to the back and it has a little spring ring glass. So that's that one. It is 16 inches long. 
and then you've got these gorgeous rhinestone again prong set stunning pierced earrings so that's those so sparkly i like how they blended the same sort of like you know how they have the prong set in a row like that and the bigger stone on the top like this and then i'm adding this glorious brooch it's so pretty it's like a swirling star it's got really big stones here and this and the start of it you can see these three big ones and then they go a little bit smaller and spin around and the same type of chain effect i guess of prong set so this is so pretty you could add this to another chain you could add it to the napier chain you could add it to just about anything to enhance it so that will be a piece that can go with lots of things so this is bag number eight called rhinestone for 34. i think it's worth every bit of that with that brooch the earrings but just for fun i'll take it down to 30 even okay so that's called rhinestone beautiful earrings that are pierced lovely brooch and your 16 inch rhinestone necklace and don't forget you can put an extender on any of these necklaces and they can be uh, much longer and more wearable if you like okay that's bag eight right yes okay so bag nine is another one from my black and white lot that i got and it's lovely it's all glass beads and it comes down like this it's really a beautiful i guess you'd say a collar necklace it shows like this has silver tone beads here and look at how it just goes tiny black glass white black glass beads and then black and white alternating tiny white beads and then bigger black beads with small it's well thought out and then the white beads and when it gets to here it has the bigger and smaller black white and smaller black again so lots of real nice thought went into making this necklace i love how it finishes up here it's on a silver tone rollo chain with a lobster clasp really pretty all glass bead necklace and how could I not put this, these with it? These are glass beads up at the top, gold tone around here, and just so cute. Really cute earrings. They have like a felt on the back of them. They're really clean. I put some gold posts on the back, and they just looked really great to me with that. This bracelet is phenomenal. I mean, I think if I put that on eBay alone, it would really do well. It's just so cool. It's in that square shape, but it's all layered lucite. I just loved it with that. Sometimes it looks black, and sometimes on the side you can see the stripe. So I love this bag. I think it looks great. It's bag number nine called Bead Stripes. The necklace is 20 inches long, and the bracelet 8 inches. So hope you love these vintage pieces. They are really fun to keep going and to pass along to people that will enjoy them. And the necklace is lovely and substantial. Wrap it around carefully so it can go in the bag. Some of these things, well, for those that have ordered already, you know that the jewelry will come to you in this bag with the tag on it so you remember just what you got. But by the time I wrap them all in the tissue, sometimes they don't all fit in these bags, but You'll see when you get them. So bag number nine, bead stripes, and the price on this one is 30 even, okay? So super nice, hope you love that. And I got more emails, I'm saying at least three to four a week, from people that are saying they love their jewelry from the Friday night bags, Saturday night bags, from, from the jewelry from the boxes as well but mostly from these bags. They get their jewelry and they love it. So I'm really, really glad that you're all loving it, that you're agreeing on the quality and that you're agreeing that the pieces are worth it. So thank you so much for that. 
Next is an absolutely stunning Monet piece. I'll show you the tag first. And you just got to get a look at this double chain gold tone. And it clasps up here with the hook clasp. This is marked again, clasps like this, and then goes just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I think on the person, it lays down better, you know? But on this neck, it doesn't, doesn't do it justice because your body's going to come out a little more than that. So this is this piece, this Monet piece. And for fun, I was messing around and found, because I think that maybe there was something glued right there. So I'm taking this gorgeous earring. Look at this. Oh, gold tone, romantic looking, green stone in the middle, and four red stones around. And it's got some little flower pieces. It's a beautiful earring. And look at it on the necklace. Isn't that not lovely? Wait a minute, I think I have to put it from this way, top to bottom. There we go. So look at that. Is that gorgeous? I hope you love it. And it solves the problem right there, too. I don't think anyone would notice that there's something missing on that little piece in the front, but it sure is nice to have something to add to it. So to keep in with the green stone theme, I have this lovely bracelet, gold tone, with the green stones on it. I don't think they're jade. I think they're like a chrysophrase or something in that family. But look how pretty it looks with that. Isn't that lovely? I love it. And this was almost a match with the tank track bracelet uh, necklace, but it just went so well with this that I couldn't change it. Now these are also some kind of real stone chip earrings. They are clip-ons, gold tone, and the colors are just beautiful. So you can take this gold Monet and add these little green touches to it, or not at all. You can add these pieces to something else and enjoy the chain. Now the chain is 15 inches, and I'm adding this awesome little gold tone extender. It has a spring ring on one end, the little ring on the other, and then once you get it connected to your necklace, all you have to do is use the barrel clasp to open and close the necklace. So I hope that helps. I'm going to try to pick up some more necklace extenders so that on the shorter vintage pieces we'll have a lot more wear ability with each one. So here's bag number 10 called Monet Classic Gold, 15 inches plus your three inch extender, six and a half inches on the bracelet, and then your lovely real genuine stone earrings. So in go your clip-ons, and in go your bracelet, your extender, this beautiful clip-on earring. Remember to clip it downward and it stays very nicely. And this gorgeous, oh, just look at the color on there. Monet, double chain, beautiful condition. The texture on the chains in the back. It's just a lovely, lovely piece. So I hope you love that. There's nothing like the gold color on the Monet pieces. So classic, Monet classic gold. Hmm stones and all I would say 33 on this again I think the necklace is worth it but since it has that little blip we'll add the other pieces okay so number 10 33 I'm trying to make them so that there's a little bit of something for everyone and the prices can reflect for everyone next I just could not resist offering this awesome vintage necklace a lot of us love these older lucite pieces. They're just so comfortable to wear. We love all the colors and we love the versatility. And this one was no exception. 
So it sat for a while because I couldn't find things to match, but I think I found a pair of earrings that'll do it justice. So you've got these purple amethyst color and other colors that are mimicking stones, like maybe some jasper and maybe some jade. Just some beautiful colors in there. And then it's finished off with these sort of gold and silver tone textured beads. Almost looks like a nut or something. And then all between are these gold tone spacer beads. So it's a really well done vintage piece. I love it. I hope you do too. Spring ring clasp. And this is what I found to go with it. These purpley sort of all kinds of colors in them earrings. I think it looks great with that. Couldn't find anything else that made me happy to go with this. And a purple enamel bracelet that's gold tone in the middle. So that's what I have for that. I'm so glad to find some pieces to go with this beautiful little beauty. Bag number 11 is called Vintage Violet. The necklace is 30 inches long. The bracelet is eight and a quarter. And then you've got your clip-on earrings that are in gold tone with the black on the top. So let's see, for the Vintage Violet set, I will say $29, okay? So there you go, vintage clip-ons. Lovely, nice weighted enamel purple bracelet. And this such adorable cunning baby. Really good condition. There's no scratches, no wear. So I'm really happy to offer that piece. Bag 11 for 29 called Vintage Violet. I guess I should stop a minute for those that are just joining me and let you know how to purchase. And you would email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Just include these four pieces of information. The episode number, so Saturday night bag, episode, whatever. A brief description of the pieces or the bag. The bag number and the price that I gave, okay? That'll be just fine. I don't need any screenshots. If you want to send a screenshot for yourself, that's okay. I don't mind. But I just need those four pieces of information and I'll find what you're looking for super quick, okay? So thank you for that. Yeah, I just thought I'd take a minute for a commercial break and invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'm not one that knows how to edit yet, so I have to do things like this. Subscribe, like, click the bell. But I am inviting you to subscribe if you like the channel, and I hope you do. Thank you so much. On to bag number 12. It's a repeat from last week because I think it's so worth it. This is our Vintage Moon Glow Coro Necklace. It is one of those double strands marked right on the hook, Coro, that does this. Let me fix it up for you. Actually, triple strand. Okay, let me get it lined up. Sometimes it gets a little twisted up in the bag. But it's really easy to get uh, fixed how it needs to go. Sometimes if you hold one end this way, and then you fiddle with this end, that's how you get these to go. So there's our Coro Moon Glow, <gasps> Moon Glow Necklace. I love this blue, it's so pretty. And our hook closure, you can hook it in many different places for however long you want to wear it. And this one is not like really, really short like some of the, the other older ones are, but look at those Moon Glow beads. Oh. And here's some Moon Glow button clip-ons. Light blue color. It's one of the most um, popular colors for Moon Glow. So there's those. And a Moon Glow bracelet. I don't think I've seen many of these. But this is a beautiful white color. And I thought it went really pretty with the blue and the white. With the blue and the white. So this is bag number 12 called Coro Moon Glow Thermoset. For 35 and I am going to leave it at 35 because it's worth it for sure. So there's your clip-ons. Your bracelet is eight, a little less than eight inches. 
and the necklace I'll have to measure again because this week I pre-measured everything but this is a bag from last week so this measures 20 let's see oh my gosh I'm drawing a blank um 36 inches fully extended on the first section so you can wear it shorter than 36 but it goes to 36 okay let me just do that one more time no actually i'm sorry i'm not supposed to double it right now so this is actually 17 inches and then you've got a little bit maybe another inch or so so 18 inches on the first part here Okay, so let's put the moon glow back in the bag. It's so beautiful. And that's bag number 12, Coro Moon Glow Thermoset. Bag number 13. I got a little messed up on my numbers earlier, so I have this sort of change to a 13. I hope it's not going to be confusing. I don't think so. 13 is called Polka Dot Fun. So here we go. We have an older with a brass spring ring necklace that's made of glass seed beads. And are these glass? Hmm. I'm not sure if these are glass. I know these are glass. May or may not be, I don't know. But it's an oldie and it's so cute. It has the white beads the white seed beads and then the black and white polka dot beads and I'll just flip it up this way so you can get a good look at it but it's so cute maybe I'll put it this way yeah that helps so that's a cutie right but wait till you see what we put with it now the necklace is 28 inches long so it's not a shorty and then for earrings I have these big statement earrings, of course, white with black polka dots and black on the top. They are made of wood or paper mache or something. I think a light kind of a wood, so they're not heavy to wear. They're pierced and they're adorable. So we've got those earrings to go with that necklace. Now, you know me, if you don't like the bigger earrings, here's a smaller pair and they're pierced as well. They're just little, almost complete hoops, white with the black polka dots, just so cute. They're adorable, so I'll put those up there. And of course, we're gonna reverse it with the bracelet, a black bracelet with white polka dots, which matches these beads. So I hope that's a lot of fun for you. If you like polka dots, you'll love this set for sure. Some vintage pieces. So this is bag 13 called Polka Dot Fun, 28 inch necklace, eight inch bracelet. And you've got smaller pierced earrings, white with black polka dots, bigger pierced earrings, white with black bracelet, black with white polka dots, eight inches. And your 28 inch, I would say glass beaded necklace black with white polka dot. So just so much fun. Hope you love that. I think black and white goes with anything, right? And for this one, I'm going to say we'll do $19, okay? So black and white polka dot fun, $19. Bag 13. Okay, bag number 14. I had to, well, I'll show you had to leave on this board because I wanted you to know how it came. So it says genuine Austrian crystal and it's this lovely vintage necklace. Pink crystals, little black crystals, really detailed. And then the pink and black crystal earrings. It has a box clasp. I wanted you to know that's how it came. And now we're gonna take it off and put it in the bag. I haven't taken it off yet at all. I just left it there 
until I could finally make a, a bag out of them or maybe sell it on eBay with my vintage five-piece lots that I sell. I'm thinking of doing that next, is doing a fun bag night, but all vintage. It would be called signed designer, vintage and, vintage and signed designer jewelry lots. So there'll be some signed pieces in every lot and really good quality vintage jewelry. About five pieces in each lot. Um, and maybe I'll make a video on those. There's no reason I can't sell them here and eBay, right? So let's gently take this off. Just wanted you to know that's how it came. But isn't it precious? So there's your Austrian crystal pink necklace on silver tone, with gentle, delicate filigree work. There's the back. And you've got these matching earrings. I'll take those off. There's one. And the other one. There's that one. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to get rid of that board. It's all satiny, so I think it's a nice set. And then I'm also going to add to it these older, really old pink rhinestone earrings. They're sort of slantily set on the, the earring uh, silver tone part, which is really cool. Very beautiful rhinestones in there. And they have like a sawtooth edge. I think that's called, oh, I just had it, like a French clasp or something, French clip earrings. I thought those were beautiful with that. So if you wanted to wear the little studs, you could, or if you wanted to really sparkle and shine, you could wear those. And then I'm putting this bracelet with it. I didn't have any pink rhinestone bracelets that matched. But I do love that silver tone and that little bit of texture. It just looks really great with that set. So that's that one. This really, really looks um, sterling silver plated. I wouldn't doubt if it isn't. So, okay. We have bag number 14, Austrian pink, I called it. We've got these super cool earrings going in the bag the little studs that came with the set, your bracelet that is seven and three quarters. Sorry for that. And let's see what the necklace measures. It is 16 inches. It's really nicely made. I like how it moves. I like how it hangs. That's a beautiful piece. What a pretty color. So if you like pink, romantic, older Austrian crystal, and the backs of them, let me show you that again. Because it was on the card, so I never really looked at it really good in the back. But I like that. They look like little hearts. Little filigree hearts. Maybe that's what they are. With the pink rhinestone at the bottom of the heart. Oh yes, it is. It's so cute. Okay, so bag number 14. Austrian pink, vintage set, matching earrings, and I will say 35 on this one, okay? So, the bags are starting to line up here. Bag 15. Oops, almost lost bag 15. Okay, this is another gorgeous, oh, if you love gold tone, you're going to love this one. This is an Ann Taylor, I mean, perfect condition. There's the tag. And it's one of those long necklaces in filigree, but it has gorgeous rhinestones on each and every one of these. And I think they're on both sides. Yes, can you see that? Sparkly rhinestones on both sides. They're right there, they're tiny. 
it's just enough to catch the light in just the way you need it to. So let me show you on the neck. You see the rhinestones there? They're tiny, they're beautiful. The necklace is really long. It has this Rolo extender, perfect condition lobster clasp, and it's just long. So it goes this and this and this and then hangs like that. The length of it, oh, I didn't measure this one already. Hmm. It measures 40 inches, fully extended, maybe even 41. So it's a nice long necklace. You can always double it if you want, or you can wear a nice, long, beautiful, sparkly, excellent condition necklace like that. Or layer it any way you want, but that's our Ann Taylor filigree. Now, I thought that it would look so cute. It's up to you, but I came along and I put this little earring on here. Oops, I gotta put it on both chains. It doesn't need anything, it's so beautiful, but if you wanted to put something on there as a little tassel, we have some use for this little clip-on. So you're welcome to that. It has a pretty faux pearl on it and a really cute little tassel. So that's that part of it. And then I have these heart filigree earrings with crystals on them too. So I thought that was a great match. They're not hearts and hearts, but they have the same type of filigree and, and the rhinestones. So they're clip-ons, of course. Beautiful quality, really nice earrings. And then if you wanted to just go more classic with the hoop style earrings, these are beautiful as well. They have that fold out, pierced, clip back on style. And look at how pretty they are. Rhinestones go all the way around. Pretty, pretty gold tone. Looks great with that. And I love this bracelet. I've been looking at this for a while. It looks small, but it's actually not. And it's a gold tone, again, with a filigree type look. And look how it just comes out and goes back in right there. And it's super easy to put on. Just hook it like that. And the bracelet actually measures six and three quarters. And I already measured the necklace. So that's the bracelet. And that's your set number bag number 15 and Taylor filigree. I should say and rhinestones. So you've got rhinestones on your earrings. Nice quality. Oh, there's the back of those. Really good, right? bonds and then your pierced super beautiful earrings there really nice bracelet very interesting and very long and tailor necklace and I have this extra clip-on earring just in case you want to wear a little tassel so I hope you love that this is one of those that springs back on me. We'll put this carefully back in the bag. There's no stones missing. It's in great shape. Cute little tassel. You can add that to other pieces too. And your bracelet. So bag number 15 and Taylor filigree. With the rhinestones and the little extra piece. I'll say 34 on this one. Bag 15. 34. Okay, let's see what we've got for bag 16. Again, from my black and white lot that I got. This is a fun piece. This is an older piece. It has a hook clasp. It has really cold beads. Maybe I should check those for onyx. And these feel like they really could possibly be carved bone. They're certainly not ivory. They don't have any cross hatching, but this is a nice necklace for sure. I'm gonna turn on Miss Prissy because now that I'm doing this, those stones are feeling really cold. 
And these really do look like carved bone to me. I'm going to take a close, close look with the loopy loop. They definitely carved something. Now this is acrylic painted and these are wrapped with that sort of a jute rope, which is really pretty. And you got some more carved bone here, but that's real, real bone there. Let me see what we've got on the beads, if they're onyx. Miss Prissy is waking up. Come on, girl. Hmm. I'm not sure. I know that onyx can test a little high in the glass. But I'm going to say they're glass. They're cold. To be safe, I'll say they're glass. This is definitely real carved bone. So that's that piece. Really lovely, much older. The little hook. Couldn't find any marks, but it's beautiful. Really cold right here too. So to put with this piece, it's just a little bit of nudge on there I can get off. Yep, there it goes. I'm calling this Safari. And I've got these little tiny striped earrings that go with this. I couldn't find a whole lot to go with it that would continue the same colors and themes, but I've got that. And I also have this bracelet, which I think goes great with it. This is a vintage sequin bracelet. These go for quite a lot. So I thought I would throw this in. So you've got a really nice quality necklace, maybe onyx, I'm gonna say glass. And then you've got real carved bone in here for sure. And the little earrings and a very nice designer bracelet to go with that. So there's bag number 16 called Safari. Got some nice, really nice elements in there. And I'm going to say 46 on this one, okay? The necklace is 22 inches long. The bracelet is seven, and it's a clamper. And it's got lovely rhinestones in there, black and white enamel. They must be nicely made because they went for quite a bit online. And little pierced, brand new actually, little button earrings. So I hope you love that with the real materials and the fun safari theme. Necklace at 22 inches and the designer clamper bracelet. So that's bag 16 called Safari for 46. Okay, so much fun. It's so much work to put them together, but it's so fun to show you. Bag 17 is coming back from last week because I think it's worth it. This is a faux beaded necklace. It's meant to um, look like jade and we've got AB crystals. And this is meant to look like all kinds of jasper. Um, I think my friend Ann Miller said that this was called Fancy Jasper, if it was real. But it's a faux um, gemstone necklace with the beautiful abalone shell. No chips, in great condition. Just a lot of beautiful colors in this piece. And without the weight, you get to wear something that really looks real. And with this, I have these awesome statement earrings that if this bag doesn't sell, I'm gonna put these on eBay because these kind of things go for a lot. It has a swirly acrylic part there, AB crystal around the edges, just so many reasons why it matched this necklace. So that's our earrings. And once you flip the pieces around the front, by the way, they're clip-ons, then they just are so easy to set up. They don't get tangled. So that's those fun earrings. If you don't like the big earrings, I've got some shell earrings, just beautiful with the gold tone hooks. These are nice and heavy, very shiny, and that would go with the shell if you'd like. And I think I put this bracelet with it too. It's just a small little shiny edged bracelet that went really well. 
just gave it a little extra touch. And during the week, I found another one. So I'm going to add a second one to it as well. So you've got two bangly bangles with little beads on them. So that's it. Bag number 17 is called Shell AB. I had it at 23 last week, and I'm certainly going to keep it there because I think the earrings themselves could go for that. So I hope you love that. Here's your shell earrings that are pierced. The wild clip-ons that are like a chapita style. A couple of bangles, 8 inch. And the necklace measures... 18 inches fully extended. So there you go. Bag 17 called Shell AB for just $23. You know where to email me if you like it. Now bag 18 is, again, I dug into my super duper vintage sets and I'm bringing out the set of Monet signed right there twice, silver pearls. They're hand knotted with a really pretty, like a silvery um, cord in between. And they're just Monet silver pearls, classic. All hand knotted again, and the matching bracelet. See that, the same clasp, everything. So that's really awesome to have Monet with two matching pieces. Now the bracelet measures, and I love those clasps, they're so pretty. About seven inches on the glass silver pearl bracelet from Monet. And the necklace measures 16 inches on that. Oh, it just feels great. It's such a great Monet set. And the only thing I could find to put with it are these incredibly awesome, really old clip-ons that just have a silver tone color that could go with it. I love these, they're so fun. Big flowers, a silver ball bead in the middle, and a textured petal every other one. Really nice condition. Clip-ons, really old, right? And super clean. I just thought they looked so adorable with that. I love that. That's so fun. So that's our bag 18, a, a demi perer set from Monet called Silver Pearls. And I'm going to put in your glass pearl bracelet that's also hand knotted. These really awesome vintage earrings and your Monet necklace. Love those clasps. And for this set, I'm going to say 53, okay? Not every day you find Monet sets that match. I hope you like that. Let me know. You'll let me know if you like that price or not. Appreciate that. So we've got bag number 19. Oh, I really try to put out something for everyone. This is a Premier Designs Perfect Condition Maltese Cross, and it is gold tone and silver tone. Let me see, does this back piece come off? No, it's on there as a pendant. Look at how pretty it has that little swirl. And it's got the Maltese cross, Premier Design stamped on the back. And look at the chain they put it on. Is that not gorgeous? Beautiful chain, lovely Rolo extender, and signed here again, Premier Designs. I mean, they made some stunning pieces. Perfect condition. Really great looking. So there's the Maltese cross, multi-tone metal. And with that, I'm putting these Bally style hoop earrings pierced. Thought those looked pretty with all that texture. And these little gold button pierced earrings. Just look terrific with that as well. I think they remind me of the spot in the middle and they just kind of repeat that pattern. And then with it, I'm putting this really wonderful bracelet. It's an older piece. I think it is marked inside, but I don't know what it says. Either that or that's just the stamp reverse. But it's a nice bracelet. Super clean and I like how it has the all that um, 
repose, I think you call it, where it's kind of goes in lower right there, and then they put the darker, um, maybe enamel, I'm not sure, but it's just a gorgeous piece with a lot of texture. So that's our bag number 19, Premier Designs, Maltese Cross, multi-metal necklace, some pierced little button earrings, some valley style textured earrings, really cool bracelet that measures six and a half inches with texture on it, and this brand new condition Premier Designs necklace, just beautiful. So let me gently wrap that up because I'm gonna have to take this off because some of the chains are so thick from Premier Designs that you don't wanna just bend them around. You have to kind of gently go like this. So we'll do that. I'm pretty sure I told you it was 19 inch chain, right? Six and a half inch bracelet. So bag number 19, Premier Maltese Cross, two pairs of earrings, bracelet, and that wonderful necklace will do for 29. Okay, bag 19 is 29. Whew. Okay, now you probably saw me unbox this absolutely stunning piece. This is a gold tone. You saw me unbox it from my latest series, 10 pounds, Shop Goodwill. And this is a gold ball bead vintage necklace that is nice and long. And it's in great condition. I gave it a little bath and it cleaned up really, really well. It's a beauty. It measures 28 inches on this stunning gold ball bead necklace. And they're substantial size. I don't have one of those millimeter testers. Sorry about that, but maybe you can get an idea of the size of them. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to show you my pretties. My costume ring my sterling silver and gold over for May ring. And I'm wearing my Coro bracelet. So beautiful. I do want to list this on eBay, but I'm just having fun with it right now. And by the way, it's 65 on this if someone likes it. Beautiful Coro. But back to this piece. What was I getting ready to say? Oh, I was going to try to show you what those ball beads measure. Don't really have one of those measuring tools, but if I tried to go this way, oh, I don't know. That's eight, nine, ten. I would say ten millimeter, probably. So with this necklace, I am going to put these button gold tone earrings. They are clip ons, great condition. And we've got to put these Monet earrings with the gold ball bead. They have a little filigree on the end. They are their comfort clip-ons or signed on the back. Thought those were so pretty. And they have the same color gold tone. And then I'm adding this brooch because it is also the same color gold tone. I don't think the brooch is signed, but I always test the, the um, clasp and it works great. Now, I don't know if you wanna wear this on this chain because it's so classic and beautiful by itself. But if you wanted to wear it somewhere on it, you certainly could and it would make it all the more beautiful. You could put it this way and wear it on the bottom or you could just wear it along with your jewelry set. But I'm adding that brooch because it has the same gold tone and I just thought it would be pretty. So that's bag number 20 called Classic Gold Bead Ball. 28 inch necklace with the older spring ring clasp. Fantastic condition. Nice long necklace. You just can't go wrong. And the Monet comfort clip. Nice heavy gold earrings. The little button earrings and the beautiful little brooch. Great condition. So that's bag number 20, classic gold bead ball. And I do have to price this up. These are something I think all of us want to find. And if it's 
not bought, I will keep it for a while myself. So I'm going to say 56 on this set, okay? And you let me know what you think, and you've got the Monet earrings and the brooch. Okay, we'll take a quick little minute to remind you how to contact me. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com if you like one of the bags or two or three. And I answer my emails in the order that they come. So get your email right in. Make sure you click the notification bell so you know when my videos come out. And just give me the episode number, brief description, bag number, and the price. Okay? And if you give me this information, I'll be able to go faster and let you know what's still available. Sometimes I keep a sold list in the comments. Um, I try to, so I'll do that the best I can. Okay, we've got two more bags. This one is called Cha Cha, and this is a lovely silver tone lobster claw chain on a Rolo chain. I like how this is made. Goes to a textured chain here, and it's just chock full of these beautiful crystal and oh look at that so cute how they put that little flower petal there milky white beads some are glass some are acrylic and soft silver tone and it's just one of those cha-cha looking pieces really pretty you can wear it with a lot of things so there's that piece the necklace measures 18 inches and with it I have these beautiful glass earrings. They are all glass. Um, they have like a cat eye effect here and this cute little black gold, I'm sorry, black, gray, and black, okay, white, gray, and black beads here, cat eye, same multicolor here, and then the black ones on the bottom. Silver tone on wires, really looks cute with that. And the bracelet I thought was marvelous. Picks up all the same colors. It's a clamper style, super nice condition. And it has these blackened and silver leaves on it that I thought was a great theme to go with that. And am I seeing rhinestones in there? No, I think it's just really um, shimmery silver tone. So the bracelet is six and a quarter. And that's our bag 21 called Cha Cha. So there goes your glass earrings on silver wires. Super nice clamper that matched really well, I thought. In really great condition. Nice quality chain. And you can't beat a vintage necklace with all those yummy things on it. And the necklace again, 18 inches. So that's bag 21 called Cha Cha. And I'm going to price this one at 18. We'll leave some of them lower for people that need to watch their budget more than most of us. I mean, I have to anyway. So for the people that need to watch their budget like most of us, that's what I mean. The next one only has two pieces, but that's because I couldn't find anything that would go with this beauty. This, again, is one of those vintage pieces that some of us just can't live without. It has these acrylic beads with bubbles in them, then some frosted beads, and it's made of that beautiful blue, blue tones, silver, and just this lovely, like, aqua colors and blue colors, like very beachy color, but can also go with anything at any time. Now, these are feeling like glass, but they might just be that really heavy acrylic I think maybe they are. Let's see. Yeah, that's that really dense acrylic that feels like glass. But the necklace is just too cute to pass up. And I'll tell you why. I found the matching earrings and I could not stand to not offer the set. So here they are. Cute little turquoise color up top with the several different color blues and then that color blue here. So we've got earrings to go with it. Isn't that so cute? I just love these vintage sets. They're just adorable. So that's bag 22 called Lucite Blue. It's a 22-inch necklace. 
super cute, great condition. And I like those big silver tone pieces as well. Lots of pretty stuff happening there and some earrings to die for, pierced earrings, okay? So that's our vintage Lucite Blue, 22 inch, and I will say an even 20 on that. All right, so now I've got my work cut out for me, but before I go and make a thumbnail, I want to thank my friend Lori for sending me friend mail. She sent me this whole bag a really pretty jewelry. I'm going to show you a few pieces real quick. And I always ask people if they mind if I read their note. She said she did not. And here's her note to me. She said, you are the best. Dear Sherry, you are the best. Thank you for letting us into your life and your home. I've so enjoyed getting to know you. I admire your ever-expanding knowledge, integrity, and gentle nature. I love Lori. Isn't that awesome? P.S. I thought of you with every item in this box. And P.P.S. Have fun with the page of stickers like you have spare time. LOL. So she's a lot of fun. We email back and forth. She makes me laugh so much. She's the funniest person. And here's my stickers that I can color in. I actually do have a lot of pretty nice um, micron pens and things I could use. So that's not such a... Um, bad idea, Lori. I do need some days where I don't think about jewelry, so maybe I'll color those. I'm going to show you some of the pieces. There's this vintage pink rose. I haven't really taken a lot of time to look at this stuff yet, but look at this necklace. Isn't that adorable? So we've got that. We've got this piece. This looks like it's marked New York. Look at the beads on that, isn't that pretty? This probably moves down, yep. So wow, this cute little piece, this probably has rose quartz, beaded, older class. Then there's this lovely necklace. Maybe that's some amber on there, I don't know. Could always find out. And I like how that's like a brass, brassy, tone. And this is pretty. This necklace. I think it has magnetic clasp or maybe a barrel or something. I don't know. I better be careful, but that's going to make a nice color jewelry bag for sure. That's a pretty one. Look at this. This looks like glass maybe. So pretty. That's a lovely piece. That's going to be fun to figure that one out. This looks like some kind of nuts that they use to make jewelry. Really cool. Oh, a glass pearl necklace. Got to have those. It's all hand knotted. That is yummy. Whew, can't wait for that one. And what else? What else? There's a lot in here. Can't show it all. This looks like a nice cha-cha necklace. That's pretty. Ooh, another glass pearl. Yes, thank you for that. Pretty clasp on it. Really nice glass pearls. And this one is stunning. And this is from Kenneth J. Lane. Look at the pearls on there, aren't they beautiful? So a KJL, that's a lovely, lovely piece. And one more I'll show you is this really beautiful bead right here. So, so many pretty pieces. Not sure why I have these separate in the bag, but it looks like some real gemstone here. I mean, look at this. That looks like real gemstones. Wow, that's gorgeous. Feels ice cold. Why not just take a peek? Oh, I already turned Miss Prissy off. These are beautiful. So thank you so much, Lori, for thinking of me so much to send me these beautiful things. I know you said you're making room in your jewelry stash so you can get newer and different things. So. I'll certainly make great use of all that. 
beautiful jewelry. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Very sweet. Next, I want to squeeze in a craft bag because I've got so many to do. And I've been meaning to make an entire video of it, but this is going to be a big bag of craft items. So. These are craft items that don't usually fit in my little craft jars like this. So if they're bigger pieces, I'll put them in a bag. And this craft bag is going to be named Bob. And Anne, my friend Anne in Virginia, asked me if I would name something after her husband, Bob. She said that Bob watches her watch me, and he thinks that I'm one of the nicest YouTubers, and so she wanted to... Uh, give him a little kick and have me name this bag after him. So, hey guys, thanks so much for watching me. You're the best people in the world. I really enjoy talking to you, and you're just a lovely encouragement to me. So, thank you for that. Okay, so in the Bob bag, we've got this big statement necklace. I think it's missing, I don't know, maybe a crystal or so, but it's a pretty one lots to work with and maybe you can fix it. Then we've got this pair of crazy big earrings. A couple things missing, but and a piece of these crystals I've been giving away. This bracelet's really pretty, but it's lost the stretch and I just can't fix everything. So that goes in. This necklace is really fun. And actually, the piece that fell off of right there is in the bag, so you can fix that up. It's heavy, but the chain does have some wear. This is a glass beaded necklace. I really like this, but some of the green is coming off. So someone can use the other beads and maybe even take the rest of the green and have clear, but it's heavy. It's a lot of glass. This is pretty, too. But some of the things fell off. Maybe you can put something new there, some rhinestones. Not so bad on the gold wearing on that. Then we have a little watch. And another watch. And this really fun necklace. It's kind of space age, isn't it? Not a thing wrong with it. I think maybe the pearls were a little scratchy. Maybe. Not too bad. Kind of thinking that could have been a fun thing, but it's okay. That's going to be something you can wear or you can fix. This is from way back when I got that um, bag of jewelry that was, it had real stones in it. So you guys asked me if I would put these in the craft bag. So here's one of them. So these are real stones here and here and here. So you're welcome to use those. And some of those beads too. This is that, let's just say, piece of ladies' lingerie that's made of jewelry. And I had no idea when I was looking at it on the video what it was, but it's got a lot of rhinestones that could be really useful for crafting. Then we have this bracelet. I think it just doesn't stretch, so someone can fix that. This is a really cool piece, really heavy chain. Nice little locket thing there. I mean, pendant. It's heavy, but I just felt it had a little bit of wear on the top. Then we've got, just in time for Christmas, this big Christmas necklace. There's nothing wrong with it either. It's a big statement necklace for Christmas. And there you go. Lots of big chunky pieces on there. So that should be fun. Then we've got, I think, one earring and a bracelet, some wooden beads, and this big beautiful bracelet. I really wanted to use it in my color bags, but I don't know. I just felt like that seam right there bothered me. So lots of other beads you can use. And if the seam doesn't bother you, then you've got a great bracelet. So that's a lot of stuff. Big craft bag bob. It's probably a couple, two, three pounds. And I will say 25 on this. So you let me know if you want craft bag bob. 
And again, hi, Ann and Bob. Hope you're having a great weekend, and I appreciate you very much. Now, should I squeeze in one more craft bag? I really want to. Oh, here's that piece that goes to that necklace. So let me put it in that bag. Yes, let's just get one more out of the way, okay? Craft bag Benny. This is named Benny. Uh, in this bag is going to go... This breaks my heart. I love this necklace. Can't remember what was wrong with it. Something with the clasp. So it's a beauty, just needs to be fixed. We've got this um, Lucite that's got a little crack in it. We have a watch from um, Korean War. So that's interesting. A very nice glass, art glass piece. Not sure why I didn't put that in a smaller craft jar, but it's in great shape. I will wrap it up so it doesn't get broken. We've got some bangles, some kind of sports Disney charm bracelets. <coughs> Excuse me. Some little beads. This is one of those Tracy Lynn necklaces. And I cleaned it up. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like that, and it's just beautiful like that, the way it is. Could very well be, but I just didn't know. But this is a Tracy Lynn. It's not marked, but if you take a Google shot and you go online, they have these on there, and they go for pretty good prices. So just wasn't sure if that was too much wear on the chain. That's that piece. We've got some glass faux pearls that look like it lost its clasp. We have these seed beads that I'm not sure what you could do with, but there's lots you could do with those, I suppose. Then we have this beautiful um, statement necklace. Just needs to be connected right there, and I think that's it. And it's got a great chain and good condition, so not much to be done there. Then there's this hammered gold tone, nice chain, either clean it or it's not got enough gold on it, not sure. This looks like an earring that would match that Christmas necklace, kind of cute. This is a Claire's wraparound bracelet, maybe could be fun for someone in your house, not sure. That goes in. And just some silver beads to maybe put as spacers in a bracelet. This is a great piece. It's a tourist piece. And I can't remember what it's got on it, but you'll see it when you get it. It's very interesting. And I just didn't have the heart to throw it away. or And I don't have the time to sell it on eBay. Here's a bunch of gold tone rings that might be helpful. Really cute lucite ring necklace on some cord. Again, nothing wrong, just maybe you could craft with it or wear it. This bracelet needs some help with the stretch. It's got a lot of nice stones and it's pretty. We've got a couple of tangled things that I'll put in there. Some that's a cool bracelet and an Alex and Ani. What's in here? Oh, four, four stars to do something with. Another bracelet. Aw, oh, cute little elephant. Doesn't have anything. Oh, there's a little bale. So that's cute. This is an Alex and Ani. This looks like a tassel. We've got an... Oh, yeah, this is some kind of... Hasbro collectible children's item. It got a little tangled in here. This necklace broke my heart because I have matching earrings. So pretty. It's on this kind of chain. But this somehow got stretched before I even got it. So that's going in. And that is all the goodies that are in our big craft bag named Benny. So I hope
think that's a lot of good stuff you can use. And I will put $17 on Benny, okay? So thanks for sticking with me through all of that. I am going to get to work on my thumbnail and try to get this video on tonight before I end up calling it Sunday night jewelry bags, right? So thank you all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button on the way out if you like the videos. And like I say every time, put your thumbs up. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.